Hello nerds! Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your week in Nerddom TV edition for the week of July the 9th, 2018. This week, again, we're going real, real short, so let's not waste our time with the teaser. Let's just jump right into that intro. Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander of War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. Yeah. You're listening to... Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Before we get into any news though, nerds, we have to get into this week's sponsor. This week's videos are sponsored by the Photographer Shirt. In theme with our New Orleans trip and the Adventures in Photography episode or episodes, depending on how much footage I get while we're down there, the sponsor shirt is going to be the Photographer. Kind of makes sense. I mean, if we're pushing Adventures in Photography, why not push the photographer shirt? The only place you can get this photographer shirt is over at teespring.com slash stores slash generally nerdy. That is the place to get your photographer shirt. teespring.com slash stores slash generally nerdy. So go check it out or just check out the website. You can find the link up there, generallynerdy.net. Now let's hit up all of that news right around the corner. Big guns, like usual, right out the gate. We're coming out swinging. We're talking actually two bits of news for Titans, the DC Universe streaming show. First bit of news is that Minka Kelly confirmed, although she's not exactly like a producer or anything, but she would know before the rest of us schlubs would. She confirmed that, yes, Titans, the show, will launch this fall. So, that means if the beta is opening in August for the DC Universe app, then we there's there's 3 months worth of room for the the launch of the the actual app itself. Sorry, I'm tongue-tied a little bit. So, it goes beta in August, that means potentially anywhere from September to November, September, October, November, uh we could see the official launch. Uh, no one over at Warner Brothers or DC has confirmed this other than Minka, as far as I could see. So, I mean, it could come out sooner, but likely, and that's kind of the window that we've been guessing at this for the last two, three months anyway. So it kind of makes sense. Just a real quick quasi confirmation that we had to talk about. And then our other bit of Titans news this week has to do with that mystery casting we talked about, uh, it was probably about two months ago, where they were looking for somebody who was, we, we were con considering it was either going to be a cult leader, I can't remember the name of the character now, or Trigon, Raven's dad. Well, turns out it was Trigon. Uh, Seamus, what is his name? Seamus. Seamus Dever, 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 I think it's Dever, uh, who is Detective Kevin Ryan over on The Castle Show, he has been cast as Trigon, so that's going to be our big villain for the first season, as evidenced by his Wikipedia entry at this point. Wikipedia doesn't have the character he's playing, though it's been confirmed through other sources, obviously, that he's going to be Trigon. Um, but Wikipedia does have him listed as being in all 13 episodes of this first season. So it's very likely we're going to be doing the, uh, Judas contract, I believe is what that is. I could be wrong, but, uh, that, that storyline where they fight Raven's dad and then they trap him in the stone that she wears on her forehead. So I, I'm down. I, I, that's a great story to start with. That's a great one that... I I would love to. That was the it was my first exposure to the Titans to begin with. So if it's my first exposure to live action Titans, then yeah, high five DC. You actually pulled something out. Uh, so yeah, that's what we have for Titans. Next, we're talking about this one's a little more meta. Uh, it's it, movie franchises are being picked up on 
TV channels. Now, the specifics of what I'm talking about is FX is looking at picking up and, and starting a, uh, a TV series for the Aliens franchise. More and, and the rumor said that it was something set in the Aliens universe, so it could be something Prometheus-wise, uh, or it could be something de dealing directly with Xenomorphs. It's still up in the air because they're still considering it. They're not actually doing it yet, but they're considering it. And then the other one is the original uh, production team and the voice of Chucky, uh, Child's Play, is looking at going up on TV put out by Universal Studios um, and they're doing a reboot and we're not going to talk about the reboot because that's separate somehow. They're going to continue the original line of Chucky movies and then also reboot it in a different production, whatever. We're talking about TV. So these, I guess these are two different issues, right? Because you have one very successful horror sci-fi uh, series and then you have another barely successful, barely profitable uh, cheeseball horror series. And I feel like of those two, honestly, neither of them will go more than two, maybe three seasons at best. Likely they'll only last one season, whichever one of these gets picked up. But it'll be for different reasons. Uh, the Chucky one is because you can't handle that much camp for more than an hour and a half. That's why those movies only barely do well, uh, is because they are short. If you were to make that into a 13-hour extravaganza, a 13-hour series, I, it would fall apart by hour three, maybe hour four. So to ha before you reach halfway through the season, you're going to start dropping off in ratings. So I just, I don't, be I don't believe that would be a viable option. Now, Aliens is again it's a different story aliens is a franchise that does well and has a number of successful movies it also has a couple of really bomb movies uh, like bomb like bad not bomb like 90s colloquialism bomb uh but like translating that to television even even if it is cable it's still basic cable they can get away with a little bit more i mean obviously amc gets away with quite a bit of blood on the walking dead and on preacher which if you're not watching preacher this season's starting to get uh, starting to get quite a bit better I'm, I'm really digging season three uh step up from season two anyway uh so amc gets away with a lot of stuff i feel like the most we've really seen over on FX is language and not really gore. And if you're going to do an alien series, you need gore. This one, I feel like, will lose steam by the end of the first season. Which is why I say it'll, la it'll prob it possibly last two seasons, maybe three. But I can't see it going longer than that. It will be interesting if James Cameron has anything, or yeah, James Cameron has anything to do with it, or if Ridley Scott gets his hands on it at all. We don't know. It will be, I mean, it wouldn't be the first time that I, either of those guys have dabbled with television, but I still don't think that that is going to make it successful in the long run, unless they're only going to do one or two seasons. Then, yeah, I feel like that's a that's a great gamble to take because that is a universe that I feel like the audience will buy into. Now, the meta part about this is, is this TV's the beginning of the end for television? I know people have been, have been hearkening the end of television since we started uh, streaming, but does, does this mark something like a milestone in television that they're looking to, because Movies have been borrowing from comic books for a while. Now TV is starting to borrow heavily from not just comic books, but uh, literature or literature, but also from movies themselves. So, the I, I just I don't I don't know what's going on. I want to hand this one off to you guys. Is pulling a movie franchise into the realm of television is that a good thing in general? And then more specifically. Are either of these ideas, Child's Play or Aliens, do either of these strike you as a great 
or even a good idea to translate onto television, let me know. Let's have that conversation down in the comments. Following that up, we are talking about Supernatural. Just real quick, uh, the first two episodes for season 14, the titles of the episodes have been released. Uh, episode one is called A Stranger in a Strange Land, and episode two is called Gods and Monsters. Uh, I have not seen anywhere anything that tells us exactly what uh, the theme of the next season is going to be. I feel like based off of these titles, obviously we're going to be playing in a different realm. Like that's kind of a given because by and large they've exhausted the possibilities of where they can go in regular Earth. So now, does that mean we're going to be getting more it sounds like we're getting more mythologies from other like greek mythology like they've dabbled in norse mythology and they've dabbled in some other stuff like that but this sounds like we're going to be getting basically a whole season of mythological uh gods and monsters so that kind of has me excited I, I feel like that's a really interesting and relatively untapped region for supernatural to cover so i'm super stoked you guys tell me how excited you are or if you know something more about what exactly these titles are implying like let me know in the comments down low next we're talking about a thing that i i tried to do a video but i just felt like i wasn't as eloquent as i could have been so it never got posted um but the Connors, it's, it's Roseanne without Roseanne. So Roseanne herself is actually still getting paid because she created these characters and this is the world that she created. So therefore she gets royalties. So it's not that. Um, but because of the, the Twitter <laughs> rampage that people are saying, the Twitter escapade, the issue that she had on Twitter just a couple months back, um, she got pulled off. That's everybody knows that. So this is what I'm handing off to you guys because we are coming towards the end of the summer. And now this has been confirmed as of like two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago now, uh, that the Connors is going to be what they're going to fill that empty slot with. So it's still Roseanne. So hopefully it's still the same quality though. I feel like a lot of the character for the series comes from the namesake Roseanne but what what are you guys hoping as far as how they phase out Roseanne how are, are they going to acknowledge it at all are they going to kill her I feel like that is a, a little bit shooting themselves in the foot although they did technically kill Dan before season 10s and then he came back so I don't know I just feel like eventually something's going to happen and Roseanne is going to not be in this cloud of, oh, she's a racist, even though, whatever, we won't get into the politics of it. Uh, so eventually that stigma is going to loosen up a bit. I don't know that she's ever going to get away from it, but it's going to loosen up a bit so that she can start working again, should she choose to. Uh, so if the Connors is still on the air at that point, then I feel like it would behoove them to work her back into the the world, to work her back into uh, the show. So I, I personally don't think they should kill her, but I feel like it is a definite possibility. Again, this is a conversation, so what do you guys think? And then a sneaky end bit, we are talking about Game of Thrones. Oh boy, oh boy. So, Maisie Williams posted to Instagram just a couple days ago this picture right here. And you might not be able to read, but so, and it's not super important aside from the hashtags that she used. One of them in particular, and kind of a second to it, was hashtag last woman standing. And then right immediately after that, it was hashtag barely. So does she win? Does she win the Game of Thrones? Is Arya Stark going to be the queen of the Seven Kingdoms? I just... And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then... Uh, uh, Lena... Okay, sorry, actor names always escape me, as we know from previous episodes. Lena Headley 
aka Cersei, posted in the comments of this picture. She, all it was is Queen in capital letters. So that's... And then you throw in the fact that Amelia Clark, uh, Daenerys, was done filming like three weeks ago. And I, we might have just spoiled the end of Game of Thrones. Does that mean that Jon Snow dies too? Also, does that mean they're done with every episode? And so we still have to... Well, I guess there's going to be a lot of editing. It's, it's a nine-hour movie. So just... I uh, So many questions. So, so many questions. And we have to leave you with so many questions because that's the end of the episode. What did I miss? What should we talk about next week? Let me know in the comments down below. If, though, you want to go deeper into the conversation, jump over to the website, generallynerdy.net. That is the place that you can go to get all of the freebies and the social media links and the links to the store so you can get your nerdy swag. Generallynerdy.net is the only place to get this stuff. Or you can jump over to Patreon, patreon.com slash generallynerdy. That is the place that you can support more directly. You get different uh, content depending on which tier of uh, support that you sign up for. Lowest tier is just dollar. Everything is up on the Patreon page. So go to patreon.com slash generallynerdy to check out all of that. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. If you're new here, definitely click that subscribe button. If you liked the episode, click the like button. If you are falling behind in your nerd news and you want to catch up, click or tap that box right there to the left of my face to do that. But before you do, before you click any of the stuff or go visit any of the websites, guys, always, always remember that if it is generally nerdy, it's probably here.